Hi ladies, welcome to the Roof of the Month again. Um, this time we're going to learn the Marley. First we're going to start, as usual, low to the ground, and then we'll learn it up the pole when you've mastered this first, okay? The Marley, um, named by our wonderful, fantastic YouTuber, Boomoo, we love mm -hmm. And um, it's just a really creative move. Um, something unusual, something that will impress the audience, um, or your lover, or yourself. Um, but it's really a cool move, and it's not so much, I, I would consider this an advanced move, not super advanced, advanced, but basically the thing is, it doesn't require as much strength as most of the advanced moves, it's more so your lock. We have locks in a lot of different moves. This one is probably most important because that knee that's going to be up on the top here, overlapping, going around the pole, is going to be your biggest source of friction. Actually, basically your only, as the outside leg is going to come in and rest on the top of the thigh, all right, which is not having any lock there at all. So basically, this leg, the inside leg that's going to go up first, is the leg that's going to be your savior or your worst enemy. Make sure the pole isn't overly sweaty and slick. Make sure your body isn't full of too much sweat. And make sure you don't do it too early in your practice when there's a lot of slippage because you do want a little bit of grip for this, but not overly worked out, okay? Um, so just remember that the tension from pulling back and supporting your entire body weight basically on this one under knee here, the inside of the knee, is going to cause pain and bruising for a while. Eventually, that will subside more so. Um, there's a swinging aspect to it that really kills. I noticed that if you push back too fast, when you release and you grab and you arch your back, if you go into that arch too quickly, then you're going to have a more of a spin, more rotation, which on this move, you don't want any rotation. You're going to get a little. Especially at first, you're going to get some, you do swing a little bit, but go back more slowly into your arch and extend out into the full molly. Don't try to just push your body back really quick because that just shifts your entire body weight, causing the pull to turn against the inside of the knee and burn worse. Okay? Been there, done that a zillion really long times. So don't think if you swing a little bit that that's abnormal. It's not just telling you that the faster you go back, the more you're going to spin. And you want as little spin as possible with this. You just want to nail the move itself. All right, so now starting from the ground, we're going to take our inside leg. We're going to bring it up like a side climb, okay? Except as high as you can get it. Because you don't want to be too close to the ground, and you don't want to be too high either when you're starting out. Okay, so grip really tight with behind the knee there and try to get your knee and your thigh above your hip level. Okay, so a baseball grip on top. Then we're going to come down, twisted, flipped baseball grip down here. We're going to bring up that secondary leg and put it in like this. Both legs are bent, okay, but one is supporting us and one isn't. As we go and grab the area right there on top of the foot which your palm should land right on your ankle bone that's where you want to grab and then you when you feel safe you lean a little bit let go and grab on to the other okay the fronts of the foot are very important here and so is this lock that is totally totally 100% your safety net. When you're up like this, you're pulling from here, okay, right here, pulling in, and that tension is what's holding your body up. So while the secondary leg is leaning against the pole, if you give way on that top leg, you're going to have a nasty pull. You don't want to injure your head, your shoulder, your ribs by falling parallel to the floor like that. That wouldn't be pretty. So please do put down a mat, have a spotter handy if possible, 
and just remember to be secure before you let that second beam go. Okay? If you don't feel it or you're slipping at all at that point, keep your hand there and come to a safety dismount. Alright? So, I'm going to show you the Marley in two different directions in slow motion and hopefully you'll be able to get it and we'll take it up. Now, like I said, you're grabbing right here, okay? Right on top, right where the joint is that bends the foot from the calf here, okay? And then your the ankle bones right here, I usually feel my ankle bones when I pull back. You want that same grip on both feet and, um, you know, boots and heels are not necessary. But let me just do it for you and hopefully you'll get it down. Alrighty, so our safety dismount from this one, to get out of it, you want to come back into position, you want to pull up using the force of your upper arm, push that leg out, and then you're going to end up in the position you were to start the move, okay? Now, when we take it up on the pole, that won't be a good safety dismount, I'll show you the one for that. When you're totally secure in your Marley, then you can take it up on the pole. You can simply do this by inverting, hooking quickly like a Gemini, then bringing that hand twisted baseball grip on the bottom down. Okay, same, everything is the same here. Grab behind, and there you go into your Marley. Okay. Then from here, I want you to grab up on top with your arm again, pull up, your spoke up on top of the other hand, and come into your pull and slide down. Alrighty. So, I'll do that one time in slow motion, and I hope that you'll be able to do it. All right, so remember that lock is all that's sustaining you, so pull it really tight into the pole. A little quick here. These boots are definitely not a help with this move. I wouldn't trust thigh highs on it either. Probably a great deal of slippage could happen from that uh, for this move, so I wouldn't suggest it. Barefoot's probably the way to go at first. So you're going like this, okay? Now that lock is your safety, and when you pull back, 
And I can show you with my actual foot. And pull back. You want to pull as far into your body as possible, gripping that pole like there's no tomorrow so that you can prevent the slippage. If there's too little there, it will cause you a fall if you don't have enough pressure there because like I said, the other leg isn't doing much of anything and supporting your body weight is tough work for any one leg to do. So just remember there is a danger element. It doesn't require that much strength, but it requires no pain, no gain, definitely, because you're going to feel it. It's going to hurt. It's going to get red and bruised for a while. Um, but the area will toughen with time. But you just want to make sure that even if it hurts, you've got to pull tightly. If you don't feel safe, you bail out. You don't try to go through with it. Okay? So be very careful when I second hand leave the pull. And good luck with your